Welcome to Life as God Intended. I'm Don Brzezinski, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're diving into an essential topic that affects all of us. What is your true value? In a world that often measures worth by wealth, status, accomplishments, it's critical to understand that our true value is rooted in something much deeper. Let's explore this together. When, when we talk about self-worth, which is a little bit of a red flag already, it's easy to get caught up in the standards the world sets for us. Wealth, status, accomplishments. These are the things society often tells us that define our value. But what if I told you that your true worth has nothing to do with these external factors? Instead, it's all about your relationship with Christ. You see, you cannot achieve your own redemption or sanctification. As 2 Peter 1.3 says, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Faith accepts what God provides. And God provides everything we need. Everything God gives us, which is all that we need, is given to us in Christ. As 1 Corinthians 1, 29 and 30 tells us that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. The extent to which you, by a deliberate and voluntary attitude of faith, reckon yourself to be dead with Christ to all that you are in Adam and alive to God in all that you are in Christ determines the degree to which God's redemptive purpose has been realized in your life. This is the only valid measure of your worth. Everything else is a a dead loss. As 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 16 says, Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Imagine pointing to a wealthy gentleman entering a church and asking, how much is he worth? You might respond, well, if he's worth a dollar, he's worth a million. But I would clarify that statement. I did not ask how much money he had in the bank. I asked you how much he was worth. A man could possess all the money in the world and still be worth nothing in terms of spiritual identity if he lives only to and from himself. The measure of a man's worth is to the extent to which he no longer lives to and from himself, but to and from Jesus Christ. No more, no less. So, how much are you truly worth? Your true value is found to the, in the measure to which you live your life in Christ, embracing 
his wisdom, his righteousness, his sanctification, and his redemption. You see, this is the divine perspective that shifts our focus from worldly measures to eternal significance of living from Christ. Thank you for sharing with me today in this broadcast and sharing this message of life as God intended with others. And if you found this message meaningful, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and let's continue this journey together, discovering and living out our true worth in Christ. Until next time, may you walk in the fullness of His grace and love, experiencing life as God intended.